Front Row MMA here at Cage Warriors 60 with the winner of the, well, it has to be really the main event of the night, Aaron Wilkinson. Bo Lamioli was a, was, a, was a favorite with the odds makers. I think he was a favorite with the crowd, and you came and spoiled the party. How pleased are you with this performance? Uh, very, very pleased. Um, a lot of work's going in over the camp, so you know I'm just really happy to get the win at the end of it. You know, he's, uh, we know Bo is a tough guy. We know he's got good striking, but it seemed to me that... Uh, it seems to me the game plan was to wear him down because cardio has probably always been his Achilles heel. Was that the plan? Well, we yeah, obviously, if you watch any of my fights, I'm, I'm usually, you know, I go out and I wrestle guys and I'm striking, I kill it in the gym and it comes to fights, I never really get to show anything. I um, in, the, in the fight when I was fighting, I, I, my striking felt really crisp all the way through the camp. I've, I've been doing striking with elite uh, boxing. I've obviously working with Carl as always to bring in the wrestling and the striking and, and the jiu-jitsu. And, you know, we just sort of put all that together and it, it seemed to work. It weren't really a plan of wearing him down. I just thought that I had a little bit sharper skills, skills. So when it came to working, I thought he'd work a little bit more than he needed to. And maybe, you know, I wouldn't have to work as much because I'd make use a little bit of technique, a little bit, not a little bit better, a little bit more experience, to be honest. And I, I think that seemed to play out like, especially in the clinch, when we was clinching, if you see it first, he, he bossed it. He had control, he had double unders, but he didn't yeah. get the takedown because I waited, I relaxed, and then when he did get the takedown, it's because I, you know, I didn't give it him, but I was moving around and his arms were pumped up, I could feel he was tired, and I wasn't worried that if he put me on back I was going to get subbed or I wasn't able to get back to my feet, so I was more than happy to let him tense a little bit, work a little bit, and you know, get back to our feet and let our shots go a little bit. You know, towards the end of the first round though, and right to the bell, that's when you started to really dominate, you got into mountain stuff, it, you know, again, could you, could you feel, could you feel the gas tank, like, literally draining from him? Right. No, what it was right before the uh, the end of the round, I've been working uh, some striking on guys backing up. Um, one of the combinations we throwed his right hand to the right hand to the chest, left hook to the head, and then over and right, and it landed smooth. And uh, after that, he seemed to sort of gas a little bit, and I think that maybe rocked him a little bit. The shot, and I don't know if that sort of uh, took away with his fitness and cardio, or made me. I felt it in the clinching. You know, I thought I'm not time to push the pace and maybe get the win. Certainly in the second round, you came up with you came out with a lot more pep and a lot more fizz than he did, and and that proved to be the the difference in the end. Again, is cardio uh, is cardio something that's never going to be a problem for you? Never. You ask anyone who's ever ever trained met anyone, any of the UFC guys, any of the guys at a lower level, anyone who's ever trained, and did, I've never been tired. I don't get tired. I don't know what tired is. So. Um, it's the feeling I get about, about three minutes after I've rolled with somebody. Yeah, so. <laughs> neither. I don't feel that. I don't, I've been fights and stuff. Because I kill myself for 10 weeks. I make sure I'm not fit. I've gassed in one fight. Uh, I won the fight, luckily, but the first fight is the, the scariest thing ever. The guy on the other side wants it. You don't really want it. And it's, you know, it's a fucking bad night to be in. Never, I've, I felt that feeling once and I'll never ever feel it again. You know, I got, I've got to ask what, what, what's next for you. I mean, uh, you know, Bola's a great scalp. You know, he's got some recognition again because he did, he was competing in the tough house as you have done. This is a good name for you though, despite the fact the, of the experience. Where do you want to go next? Uh, <laughs> I've had a year off, you know, and, uh, like a year out of fighting. I've had, I've just been in the gym busy, and you know, I've come back a bigger, better fighter, stronger, a little bit more technical. I've got a lot more experience than a lot of guys out there now. I just think, you know, wherever, wherever Graham and the guys want, or you know, whoever they want to put in front of me next time, you know, I'm sure I can give them a tough test, you know, get and get the win again. Uh, again, somebody with, with, with uh, and I'm not aging you, I promise, but somebody with your experience, uh, you, one of the questions I always ask is, is what type of fighter do you want next? What type of fighter is going to make you make your to take your step? Any guy, any striker, wrestler. <laughs> Great MMA guy, jiu-jitsu guy. I'm ready for, you know, I train with everybody. I train in all the different areas. I train with the best guys around. I've got great coaches around me. I've got the best management around me. I've got the best team around me. So, you know, I'm, I'm not worried who, who they bring forward. I've, I've, I've sparred with the best guys around and, you know, I've owned my own, so I've got no worries about who, who they put in front of me. As long as I keep doing what I'm doing on the night, then I'm happy. And the SPG mainline train keeps rolling on. I mean, how important is that camp and that team to you? We've got the best team around. Like, as I say, I've always had a strong team. And uh, when the Wolves lay, uh, but obviously there's a little bit of worry that we weren't going to have such a strong team. I've always got the management around me, but coach-wise, and we move gyms and stuff, I've still got the best coach around, Antne, Lee, all the guys who've always been with the Wolf, brilliant guys, and that. now I've moved on, I've got, uh, it's uh, coaching-wise, I've still got them as management, I've got SPG guys around me, I've, you know, I've got the best guys around me, and I'm just uh, elite guy, elite boxing, SPG man, I can't see anyone who's, you know, who's going to bring someone new that I've not seen before that I can't deal with. You know, Cage Warriors, uh, they, they put on events almost every couple of weeks. We know there's one in December in Newcastle. We also know there's one in Dublin on the 31st. 
Would you be willing to entertain either one of those dates? Uh, you know, I don't care. Whoever Carl, the management, Anthony Lee, say they want me to fight next, I'll fight. I'm not too fussed. Whenever the dates, I'm, I'll just be ready on the night and we'll see what happens. You've mentioned them before, but this is the chance to make it official. Before we let you go, is there anybody you want to give a shout out to or any sponsors you'd like to thank? Uh, firstly, obviously, SPG guys, Carl, John, Myman, <coughs> the coaches there, all the guys at Elite Boxing, Alex, Usher, Foggy, Matt, my brother Jordan, unbelievable guys, and all the guys on my team at SPG. I couldn't do it without you. Uh, the Wolf Slayer management, Anthony and Lee. I, I, you know, like I say, I'm, I'm naming loads of names. Cal Prince there. Um, but I've just watched it called. They've got the best guys around me. You know, obviously, it's me who goes out and does the fighting, but they do all the hard work in between. So, you know, I'm the one who gets to do the interviews and put the thumbs up, but everything else gets done with me. It's not just me. And it's a pleasure to watch you perform. You've proved again that there, maybe there is no substitute for experience. No, man. Fantastic performance. We look forward to seeing you fight Thanks again. And thank you for your time. Cheers, all front row CMP, top guys. Uh, Callum at Tire Fusion, the best. Thank you, Eric. Oh, <laughs>